Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm continuing my Sussex border walk. I've come back down into Goring, the main parade of Goring, I suppose, the heart of this village. And I'm just passing the house here at number 203 on Goring Road, I think it is. And it's believed that this house here is a 400 year old house that has in its deep and distant past some connection with smugglers. But most of the village, the old houses and all of the settlements that was here is all gone now. We've got uh, much more modern flats, um, lots of uh, what you might call granny flats or retirement properties. And then um, a rather interesting uh, parade here or terrace, I suppose, of, uh, well, I guess these must be turn of the century, 1920s type of houses. So I'm making my way westwards, continuing on my journey all around the Sussex border, as you know. And in today's show, I've got some interesting properties to have a look at before we head towards Ferring. <laughs> So first thing I want to do is actually leave the parade here because behind all this we get to some of the much more older properties and I'm going to take a little stroll down an old Sussex Twitton. Down here we call the alleyways Twittons and this will take me to a much older part or at least properties that are in a much older part of Goring. So I believe these are the Malt House cottages which down this little little area here um, these cottages were built from an old Malt House converted at the end of the 19th century into houses so there was a maltings here um, which one can assume then that the local farmers probably turning the barley and um, into malt to make beer. So the, the, the local farmers in the area probably were growing, growing the malt. I've never been down here before so this is all very interesting and quite illuminating. absolutely love coming into the much older parts of a village and seeing these incredible houses and these this old molster there it's uh you know people walk past these things they don't quite realize some beautiful houses in this little section that one there says 1889 above the door but here is uh, something i've wanted to see for a long time actually this is the house behind me of Richard Jeffries. It's called Jeffries House. Richard Jeffries was a famous author at the end of the 19th century writing about rural affairs and um, agriculture. He walked across the Downs. He originally came I think from Dorset but um, he wasn't terribly ill and he came to Goring in 1887 I think it was, or 1886 and if I get these dates wrong, it's because the old memory is going. Um, and he came here for a year with his wife and children uh, to recuperate. But unfortunately, he died about a year later. Uh, he was only aged 39, but his work influenced a whole load of writers at that time and continues to do so. So it's lovely to see the house here in all its glory. But I'm going to take a little, this is, um, I think this is Jeffrey's Lane now. But I'm just going to take a little stroll down here to look at some of these other 
cottages and houses down here. Uh, not least there's the old vicarage which is also along here um, and I'm guessing that is uh, vicarage to Mary's church which we shall be having a look at shortly. I'm actually filming on um, a Sunday morning early in the morning and um, I wanted to come here early because obviously I'm filming people's houses and I wanted to be as respectful as I could possibly be so uh, I don't want people to get somewhat worried when <laughs> pointing the camera at their place. So anyway, a little bit further down, as I said, was the old vicarage, and here it is. It's called Sea Court, and it's behind me now. It was a vicarage from um, 1780, I think, until 1935, so quite some time. And then it became a hotel, and then later a nursing home, and now I believe it is a, in private hands, uh, which makes sense, but it's a beautiful old building with um, flint and brick and a slate roof. It's absolutely gorgeous. And look at this lovely old barn at the side here. Amazing building. It's so nice to see these old buildings still in situ, even though we're surrounded by 20th century properties. It just tells you that there is a deeper history than you imagine when you just stroll past these places. Right, we must move on. So I'm on my way to St Mary's Church, which is the Goring Church. But first of all, I'm passing a pub called the Mulberry which is very iconic here on the corner of the 259 as the parade uh, comes to the shopping parade comes to an end and you sort of come to an abrupt turning heading north and this is a pub family pub i suppose now i believe that um it was built in about 1930 37 comes to mind i think it was the peacock hall hotel on this point before then but we're going to cross the road and go past uh, the courthouse it's called but I don't actually think it was ever a house that held legal courts I think it's a bed and breakfast now and here we are St Mary's Parish Church now I've done a video where I've um, been at the church and, and done a, a walk I think just trying to remember which way it was. I've done a number in the past, but we looked at the church before. But as I'm traveling west, it's worth having another look at it. It's a lovely church. So the church itself, or the position of the church, dates back to the Norman period. But this has been rebuilt in the, uh, I think in the 19th century. Um, like all churches at the moment, they're only open during this COVID outbreak for uh, private services. This is a bit of a whistle-stop tour, I'm afraid, in this episode around a number of the landmarks in the Goring area as I head uh, west. And many times I think this may well happen in these videos in as much as I'll see things, may not know everything about it, and think also, oh, I want to come back and do a separate video on just that one item. So we're going to leave the church now and head up to a couple more places before we finish this episode and then I can
carry on west towards Ferring. But before we get there, I want to go down the Ilex Avenue. The Ilex Avenue is a series of holm oak trees, or um, Ilex trees, I suppose is the Latin name for them. And this is a long avenue, it's in two parts. There's a part here next to St. Mary's Church, which runs and originally was planted for, I think it was David Lyons, who was a, um, a landowner, a West Indians, Indies merchant, and he also was a member of parliament. And he had Goring Hall, which is now a private hospital. And we can't really film in there, unfortunately, because it's all private. Uh, but I think that was a, a boys' school at one point as well, after he'd had it. But this avenue, I think, was laid out for him so that he could come to church. Let's have a look. My mistake, it's not Ilex Avenue, it's Ilex Way. Just look at these amazing, amazing holm oak trees, massive branches. Um, I think all this is planted, planted in 1840. Absolutely incredible. They're, they're, ho they're oaks, and they're the only oak in the UK that are um, evergreen. All the other oaks, of course, are deciduous, but um, these are evergreen, and here, it is a squirrel's paradise, I can tell you. Um, it's amazing. Here's another one over here, look. Look at this. Absolutely stupendous. And it must have been very lovely for, you know, a rich landowner like David Lyon um, in the 18th century to have walked down, the, uh, down this avenue here on his way to church, no doubt with family and friends alongside him. But we're gonna follow this up towards where Goring Hall is, and then I'm going to, we can't, as I say, can't film there, unfortunately, but I'm gonna take you to a pub. Fancy a pint? Well, I'm out of Ilex Way and I'm heading off to the Bull's Head and I'm back in modernity again, the modern uh, part of Goring and I'm just coming down into uh, Goring Street. This is a lovely old pub here. I believe it dates back to 1780, something like that, and was probably much older before that. Um, and it's been a pub all that time, which is incredible. Unfortunately, I can't really take you in there, but uh, you can imagine what it's like for yourself. I have um, eaten and um, had a few drinks in here uh, with my father when he was alive. Um, beautiful old place. As you can see, it's brick now with hanging tiles, but um, there's probably flint and no doubt timber in there as well. I know it's got some wonderful flagstones on the floors. You can see here on the uh, gable end here the, the chimney but you can also see where something else was attached like a, a separate room here um, but that's obviously long gone now. But a, a terrific pub, terrific pub. It's just a shame in these Covid days that uh, so many of our pubs are in peril of going to the wall because the government has of course closed down um, the whole hospitality industry which is a real pain and there's a lot of high uh, tempers about that as you can imagine anyway that's about it for this video i am now going to go back down to the ilex way and start heading down to the seafront and in the next episode, head off for fairing.
so I hope you'll join me then thank you very much for watching don't forget to follow like and subscribe give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this episode and um, why not become a patron support what I do enabling me to put some diesel in the van and get myself to these spots to bring these videos to you thanks for watching till next time bye bye <laughs>